Here's some notes on uterotonic medications. The first line is oxytocin, also known as Pitocin, its brand name. The mechanism of oxytocin is that it stimulates smooth muscle contractions and increases the frequency and strength of contractions. It's used as first line prophylaxis for uterine atony, especially after C-sections. Some side effects, oxytocin can cause hypotension, tachycardia, coronary vasoconstriction, and myocardial ischemia. Second line would be methyl ergonobine, also called methergen more commonly, its brand name. Mechanism is direct stimulation of the uterine smooth muscle via alpha adrenergic activity. It's used as second line treatment for refractory uterine atony. Side effects are severe hypertension, vasoconstriction, and coronary vasospasm. So some contraindications are hypertensive disorders, such as preeclampsia in the pregnancy. This requires careful blood pressure monitoring and may need vasodilator therapy if severe hypertension occurs. The last two we'll talk about are the prostaglandins. First is carboprost, also called hemabate, its brand name. Mechanism is prostaglandin F2 alpha analog, causing uterine contractions. It's used for the treatment of refractory postpartum hemorrhage. Some side effects include bronchospasm, nausea, and vomiting. Contraindications are active respiratory disease and patients with asthma and reactive airway disease. So again, use it when other agents have failed and it requires caution in patients with respiratory conditions like reactive airway disease and asthma. Lastly is mesoprostol, another prostaglandin. This one's also called Cytotec. The mechanism is prostaglandin E1 analog, which leads to contractions. It's used for labor induction, cervical ripening, and prevention of postpartum hemorrhage. Side effects for this one include fever, nausea, and shivering. This is particularly valuable in low resource settings, and it does not require refrigeration, and there are also multiple routes to give it, such as oral, sublingual, and rectal routes. So it's the cheap one that's used in low resource settings.